This game didn't really go to script, did it, Kate? We thought, you know, the Dutch would attack, the Swedes would defend. Sweden actually, as you saw in the highlight, had the better chances. In the first 90 minutes, Sweden was the more dangerous side. But mm. as exciting as yesterday's matchup was between England and the United States, there was a lot of attack. This game was totally different. It was all defense. So it was a tactical matchup. There were a lot of unforced errors. It wasn't ex as exciting as we saw last, as yesterday. Mm -hmm. But... If you're England or if you're the United States, you're excited that this game went to extra time. Yep. You're excited this team has one day's less rest. They went to extra time. And to be honest, England and the United States both look stronger than these two teams. Mm. Uh, third place game on Saturday, the final on Sunday in Lyon. There we have it, the United States and the Netherlands uh, should be a very, very interesting match. One of the big questions around that game, will Megan Rapino be available? She wasn't in the starting 11 in the semifinal against England earlier today. Julie Foudy spoke with Rapino. Here's a health update. All right, Megan. What is the latest on the hamstring? <laughs> hamstring is feeling very good. Um, like I said, yesterday was minor to begin with, but with such a short amount of time um, between the games just wasn't able to be fit for selection and obviously we've talked so much about the depth in this team and that's where we really got to to show it off I mean it's like I have been playing well in this tournament but I have to sit and then you bring Chris and Press off the bench I mean that's that's like next level that's like a cheat code that's not fair so um, I had a good session this morning um, it's feeling good getting better every day and I expect to be ready for the final what was it like to be watching that emotional game from the sidelines and what would it take for you not to be on the field on Sunday. Oh, and it was very stressful <laughs> watching those games. Um, obviously, you know, you are invested the most that anybody can be invested with the with the group being on the field. Um, and you just want them to do so well. So, so much pride and joy goes into watching um, the players on the field and trying to stay focused and energized and just give them everything they need. Um, I mean, it would it would take a lot for me to not be, be on the field. Um, I'm feeling better every day. Um, so I expect to be ready for it. All right, Kate, U.S. didn't end up needing Megan Rapino against England. Will they need her against the Dutch? They will need her against the Dutch because she is the dead ball specialist for this team. She has scored three of her goals off the dead ball situation. So you need someone that has that bit of swagger, and she adds that confidence out on the flank. And you want a team to have to plan around her for the Dutch. So I imagine Megan Rapino, unless she really cannot play, even if she's at 80%, she'll get the start. U.S. will be a huge favorite on Sunday. But from the American perspective, what's the one thing you got to worry about with this Dutch team? Just the connection between their midfield and the front line. And this is a team that grows throughout a game. Mm. They may not impress you. They may not awe you with how good they are in the first 60 minutes, but then they start to have those individual moments. Like the United States, they have individual game winners. Mm. We just don't see it at the level that we see the United States, which is a little bit more brash and a little bit more obvious who's going to stand out. The Netherlands do have that. So it's something to always pay attention to. Is that the biggest advantage that the U.S. has, those individual stars? It's a good question. Both these defenses are not the strongest. The Netherlands defense, we saw Sweden with some speed get at them. The United States defense, we saw as a bit suspect. So it just matters on which front line is going to make the biggest impact and unsettle the opponent's defense. For more, sign up now for ESPN+.